Okay, so today we're going to look at how to find arc length. Arc length, again, is the distance uh, from one point on the circle going around along the circle to another. Um, that measurement of an arc is generally based off of the central angle, meaning that since the central angle is an angle, we measure it in degrees or radians or degrees minutes seconds or some other measurement that you might want to use. Generally, it will be degrees, degrees minutes seconds or radians, of course. Um, and it would have that same measurement. However, we may want to know what that distance is around. So we may want to know if it's in meters, if it's in inches, um, or if it's in feet or miles and so on and so forth. Um, but in order to do that, we, need to, we would need to do some type of conversion. Well, as we saw before, the circumference, which the circumference is the distance around the whole circle. The whole circle is an arc, right? We found out that the circumference was 2 times pi times r. And the 2 pi came from the angle measurement of the circle. The angle me measurement of the circle is 360 degrees in full, and 2 pi being the, uh, the measure of the angle of a circle in radians. So in order to find arc length, essentially, the only thing we need to know is what is our angle and what is the radius? That's it. If we know what the angle is, we can multiply it times our radius and we know what the arc length is. There's one little caveat with that, and that is that, hey, this angle needs to be in radians. Because to do the circumference, our, our angle measurement of 2 pi was also in radians. So this needs to be in radians. So I'll do RAD so you know that that needs to be in radians. Okay? Um, other times, people will say stuff like, hey, take the angle measurement out of 360 and then multiply it times the circumference. Well, in doing so, honestly, what you're doing is just converting this degrees to radians. That's the same thing. Um, because this will, 2 pi over 360 will become pi over 180, and that's what you multiply by in order to convert from degrees to radians. Um, you can go back to uh, the video that we have on converting from degrees to radians if you're not quite sure about that. Um, but that's all we need. We need, we need the angle in radians, or we need to convert the angle to radians. So either one. So if you want to use any of these formulas, you can. So I'll pause, stop here and pause so that you can pause the video and take notes there. Okay. Well, let's actually use it. Let's see how this is done, shall we? So... We're going to find the arc length. Now, let's say that the radius here is one inch. And let's say that this is a measure of, uh, yeah, let's just say 30 degrees. I generally enjoy 60, but let's just 30 today. So this is 30 degrees. I want to find out what's the length of arc, or of arc AB. Well, arc length will be equal to the, uh, the angle measured in radians times the radius. So... This would be 30 degrees, and 30 degrees uh, just becomes pi over 6. And so we have pi over 6 times 1 inch, and so this would be pi over 6. And you can put that in a calculator if you want to see that um, as a decimal. Okay? And that's, that's, that's it. That's all we need to do. Well, let's say I didn't know that that was pi over 6, or I, I had trouble remembering how to convert it. Well, what I can do is... Remember how this whole thing is 360 degrees, right? And with the whole distance around, it's also 2 pi times the radius. What I can do is, as I showed before, what I can do instead is say, hey, what's 30 out of 360 times 2 pi r? What fraction of the circle am I looking at? I'm looking at 30 degrees out of all 360 degrees. And... I'm taking this fraction or this proportion out of the entire distance around, the entire distance around being 2 pi r, or the circumference. Okay, so that's all that you would need to do in order to find the arc length. In this case, we would get the same thing, we would get pi over 6. All right, cool. So this is how you find arc length. Let's do another problem. Let's do two more. Why not? This is fun, right? So, 
Um, instead, this time I I'll do six. Oh, let's, uh, let's do this one. What's that? Oh, that's right. That's a ninety degree angle, and one can kind of seem a little boring for a lot of people. So we'll do uh, eight meters this time. Okay. So. How do we find the measure of arc AB? Okay, well, the measure of arc AB will be equal to the angle, the measure of the central angle in radians times the radius. Well, the central angle is 90 degrees, so the measure of the central angle in radians would be pi over 4. And so it would be pi over 4 times 8 meters. And so we end up with 2 pi meters, which is approximately 6.28 meters. Okay, well how did I know that that was power over 4? Well, again, remember if I don't know for certain how to convert these as quickly, which is fine if you don't, take your time with it. You want to convert this to radians because it will make the multiplication easier here. Otherwise, we could just do it as a proportion. This is 90 degrees out of, what's the whole thing? 360. And we multiply that times 2 pi Oh, actually, that's not power of 4, it should be power of 2. Humans, we make mistakes. Uh, so power of 2, and this will be 4 pi, and that's 12.56. All right. So, but at 90 degrees out of 360 times 2 times pi times the radius of 8, what I'll see here is that I'll get 1 fourth. And then 1 4 times 2 would be 1 half times 8 would be 4. So we get 4 pi. Is that what we said we'd get? Yes. So either way, if you look at it at the fraction of the whole circle that you're looking at times the distance around the whole circle, or if you look at how many radians am I going and multiply that times the radius, either way you will find the arc length. Okay? Now, sometimes you may be given an arc length and asked to find the central angle. So how is that going to work? Well, let's say that, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's say we need to find the measure of the central angle. And we have uh, two miles for our radius. Let's say we have two miles for our radius. And we know that the arc length, uh, let's see, how do I do this? We know that the arc length is 2 pi miles. Okay. All right, so we know the arc length is 2 pi miles, and I know the radius is 2 miles. So I want to find out what is my um, central angle, the measure of my central angle. Okay. So what I can do is I can say, hey, what is uh, what is we got 2 pi, which is the arc length, equals some angle times the radius of 2. Well, how would I find out what the angle is? Well, I would divide both sides by 2. And I would get that the angle is pi. Remember, this is measured in radians. So how would I convert that back to degrees? So pi is equal to 180 degrees. So this would be 180 degrees. Well, that doesn't look right. Well, obviously what really is happening will be that this will be the 180 degrees. And that would have actually been 0.8 because it would have to be a semicircle as this is 180 degrees. See how these are all kind of bringing things together? Maybe you would draw this out based off the information they gave you. They gave you 2 pi miles, and they told you the radius was 2 miles. And so you draw it out because you're trying to figure out, well, what is that angle measurement? And you solve for it, and you say, oh, it's 180 degrees. Well, let me redraw it to what it actually should look like. And now I can solve other pieces of the problem. Maybe then they ask, what's the diameter? Maybe then they ask you, what is, uh, what is the arc of the other side? Measure the arc of the other side. They can ask you all kinds of things, but because you understand that, that this is 180 degrees, 
this must actually be a semicircle. Now you know how to find the rest of the problem. All right, so that's arc length. So we found out to find the arc length, you take the center angle, the measure of center angle in radians and multiply times the radius. You can also do it as a proportion out of 360 degrees. Take the center angle out of 360 and multiply that times two pi r, which will be the circumference or the distance around the whole circle. Either way, you always find the arc length. If you want it to go the other direction, if you are given an arc length and say the angle, uh, or if you're an arc length in the radius, you can find the other piece because you know how to solve equations using algebra. All right, so that is arc length, and I'll see you soon.